Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be invading Archganistan. Archganistan is toward Truff. Uh, they have, as we jump a guy here, we do have um, an enemy territory up here, and that's going to be Arch's territory. Uh, and we're kind of, kind of just go in there and start attacking their, uh, you know, their people, um, their, you know, knights or their uh, soldiers in front of the territory. Um, and while we're doing this, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of response from Arch, as this is right after the NA War Camp uh, time zone. So we're going to have a lot of response, most likely, and you're going to be able to see a lot of uh, PvP content and see how they react and how I mess up and how they, you know, uh, ultimately kill us or, you know, whatever happens, happens. You guys will be able to see that here in a second. As we're kind of running out there right now, uh, what I did do is I started recording and it ended up being a 19-hour video. Uh, so every time I try to upload that into my editor, um, it just kind of cancels on me. So uh, that is why we are doing it this route this time. Uh, we won't have actually any sound in the background, but there is a lot of action that takes place. So I didn't want to just not upload it as we do get right into the middle of their territory with uh, a lot of enemies surrounding us. So right here in the beginning, we're kind of entering from the bottom left side. Um, or the southwest side, and we're going to just try to take these soldiers out and their little crossbow guys in the back. I am just running a Wailing Bow build um, with, you know, Cleric, Robe, uh, Merc, Hood, and what else do we got? We got the Graveguard Boots. A lot of defensive abilities so that I can kite well, um, as there will be a lot of players probably trying to jump us later on. Uh, so I am running a defensive build. Um, usually when I play a defensive build, I... F I'm too uh, hesitant on using my defensive abilities thinking, you know, I'll need it later. Uh, but then it's usually how I end up dying. So if I die, it's because I didn't use a defensive ability that I was able to use. Um, because I try to save them way too often. I just need to use them and pop pop my abilities. So that's what you're going to see happening here most likely if a death does come. Um, as we start running up to the northwest side, uh, we do have players trying to get a pick in the east side. I don't know, really know why we're splitting like this. I think there was some kind of communication going on here, but it wasn't great. As we do start getting a decent pick on this guy until he uses the cleric robe, we still have him up in the air. Some reason he has invis, um, which is kind of crazy for a guy to be running invis uh, right after ZVZs. Usually they don't have that kind of um, build going, but I tried to get a wave of light on him. Couldn't actually attach the wave of light to him. And we're going to kind of exit this southwest side here, or west side, and we're going to start going to the southwest side because we are all split up, and that's not not the way to go. Uh, definitely in an enemy territory where there's knights that do a decent amount of damage, and, you know, they'll chase you for a good mile. So now that we're coming in the southwest side, we probably have about, I don't know, 12 of us. Um, looks like we got a good clap there on a couple enemies, and obviously we get that loot real quick like, um, as there's nobody in the area, but we got two clap right there. It was a great engage. I actually didn't get to see who engaged there, but we were ending up uh, getting a lot of good loot here. So uh, what we're going to do here is finish these crossbows, um, and we're kind of getting into the middle now. Slowly but surely, we're getting into the middle of the territory, the enemy territory. I try to trade some guys some, some of the loot because I kind of feel bad, and no real action is going on right now. Um, so I, I start trying to give Padme's uh, some of the stuff because I know he's a healer. He's never going to get any loot. So he's the guy to trade to. Um, as I give just a few things um, and trade him, uh, as really nothing's going on, like I said, we're just kind of killing things, uh, waiting for a response from Ark. So right here, we're going to push in a little bit more. Um, we're taking one at a time right here. I'm not sure why we're taking one at a time, but, you know, looks like our tanks are starting to bring a few more in there so we can get some... Uh, more damage going down. I was trying to look through the stats there, trying to figure out who who actually died or you know what happened. But um, as we get a lot of a lot of you know units mixed in the middle here, we're able to take out a lot at the same time, which is very helpful and speeds up the process. Uh, looks like we did add Drake Hero to the mix. I don't know if he was already here, but we got another player in here. Um, as we're trying to attack people in here, uh, the range the range guys are trying to do some damage to the players in the safe zone or safe area over there. Uh, it's not really safe safe, but you know they have a lot of players over there, so it's safer than out here. Uh, we do get a reset on the knights, which is not what you want. I'm over here just checking out, making sure we're not getting the flank on us, uh, making sure there's not 20 guys behind us, because if we get pushed up into their territory, we're going to get screwed over. So um, 
what we have here is a lot, a lot of our starting to respond. I don't know if you guys are able to see the numbers up there. Uh, they're starting to, I think, amass about you know, 10, 12 players. So we're, we're about even grounds probably right now. Um, in the up there uh, in the northeast, they have a good 10 or 12. And we're going to be able to uh, get in a good fight here in a second. After we get some of these knights out of the way, we're going to be able to get a little bit closer. Uh, watchtower guards is what they're called. Look at that. I uh, should have looked at that a little bit earlier. I've been calling them knights the whole time, but they are watchtower guards. So that is what we are clearing right now. Um, and now this is going to be the last one that we need to clear up into the uh, chest area. And it looks like they're not really ready to fight or willing to fight yet. So we're kind of just still taking out guards and waiting for a response. We gained about three alliance, <coughs> alliance members that were probably ganking previously. Um, but... Yeah, we gained a few members <clears throat> as our Camelon Mace is the guy that's going to be our engage. So I was just scouting him out for us or, or uh, you know, inspecting him real quick. <clears throat> but we are in Tord Shruff in the Archganistan is what they call it because Arch kind of owns a lot of um, territories in the Tord Shruff area. Uh, Oops owns a lot in Clay Hill and then Squad pretty much owns a lot everywhere else. Um, it's what it seems like for the most part. So... Uh, if you're looking, you know, to get fights against certain players or certain uh, alliances, just go in those areas, and I'm sure you'll find plenty of arch or oops wherever you go. So, uh, good luck to you on that adventure. But um, we do probably have gained. We probably gained about three or four as we try to get engaged very deep here. Um, we noticed real quick that you know it's probably not the greatest to try to go and engaging under the you know laser beam. Uh, but we just wanted to see what was going on. We were kind of getting bored with it because, you know, they're not coming out yet. Uh, it's understandable. I think we do have a few more players, but they could probably, if they made a good engage uh, when we're on the Knights, they could probably make a play on us. Um, but they're not doing it yet, and it will happen. I'm, I'm for sure of it. But uh, right now it's not happening. As we clear a few more Watchtower guards, uh, we do have quite a bit of DPS. I think we have one or two healers. Um, Let's see here. One, two, three, four. We have four healers, quite a bit of DPS, and two tanks. Um, but we have a lot of guards on us right now, so this would be the time for them to engage if they were, uh, if they had enough players to engage. I honestly don't know what their numbers are looking like right now. So if they have enough to engage, they should have engaged right here. It would have been a great time to engage. Just you know, we're throwing a lot of our Qs and Ws on these guys, uh, on these guards, as we slowly, slowly, slowly take them out. The fight is coming, I promise you guys. Uh, the fight did take a little bit to get started just because, um, like I said, they had to get their players out here to fight. Um, and they end, up, they end up actually getting, obviously, more than what we even have because, you know, Arch is just a pretty big, big, big uh, alliance. As we do get a catch here, um, a very good engage under the laser beam. I knew we weren't getting those kills. There's no way to get those kills. My E's down. Um, not much to be done there. Uh, we got Wing Fighter uh, getting a little getting a little hangry at him um, as we get a decent kill there, and you know they're trying to get the loot, and that's why I picked up you know one of the weapons I believe uh, because after you get that kill, you don't have time to stand in there and loot anymore, and we weren't getting any more kills, and that's why you guys got to know when to loot when it's appropriate to loot because you'll get yelled at um, in higher up guilds or alliances. You'll get kind of um, you know, in trouble if you're, you combat loot and you kind of got to understand when, you know, is the right time to actually get that loot but right here. Um, we do have a guy kind of engaging on us, evil Z. He kind of runs in, does nothing and runs out. Uh, not a problem. Uh, but we are taking the outer guards now. So we have a little bit of an escape, uh, making sure we have an exit. Uh, we do get a lot of damage here on these watchtower guards. And I think, I think this top watchtower guards, the last one we're going to be able to get here. Um, until we go for something else. I do get a wave of light touch on that guy, but he did get a long, long jump away, so we kind of just let him do his thing. Uh, my wave of light's already back up, not a big deal, so maybe he used an F, uh, which is, you know, always going to be a longer cooldown. Uh, as we try to take some more guards out, uh, the fight is definitely coming near, as they have a lot of, lot of arc now. Um, we also have gained a few oops players over the time. I think we probably have about 20 oops. Uh, and they probably have about 25 or 30 um, players on their side. What we're doing here is pinching ourselves through this little gate, and that's not what you want to do. So what we ended up doing is bringing everybody outside, 
and said, let them come to us, they'll probably come. Because, <clears throat> you know, at this point, you've called all of your players to fight. I mean, they're not going to back down, most likely, at this point. They're going to want to fight. So we kind of left the building, per se, and then we kind of are waiting for their engage. Um, they definitely have enough players to fight us. Uh, and you're going to see a mistake, most likely, coming out of myself this fight. And I thought this was a good um, idea to show you this content because... Uh, it'll kind of give you an idea of what you're doing wrong or, you know, what's going wrong wrong. As we did get the kill on Evil Z there, which was a good kill, uh, this guy comes in. He gets a good stun, good root, and a lot of our players go down, or two of our players go down. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you guys look at that clip again, if you guys scroll back a little bit, I didn't use a single defensive ability, and it was a very delayed one shot. So it wasn't really a one shot. They used an ability, got it, got a little bit of damage down, and then later on, I ended up dying um, to the big damage clap that came out. So that's just me not being aware um, or being slow. I could have easily used any of my defensive and defensives and been fine. If I used a cleric robe, I would have been fine. If I would have uh, popped a resistance spot, I probably would have been fine. Um, but I didn't use anything. Uh, and this is kind of a good example of what you guys should be doing in ZVZs. If you get in a, in a, in a pinch like that, and you're thinking, you know, there's a chance, of, a chance of death, even a little bit of a chance. You need to be using your defensives. Uh, I, I like to use my defensives uh, right away now after a little bit of an example like that. But, all right, now we're geared back up and we're going out to Tord Shruff. Um, Archaganistan is still under attack. We got our players out there. They're actually doing a lot of work. I'm hearing in the comms uh, how many kills they're getting. Uh, they've been in a constant fight since the death. Uh, which has been probably three or four or five minutes. So the fight's been going on for quite some time. They've gotten a couple good kills because we probably have better sustain than them. Most likely they don't have three or four healers. Uh, but you are able to see that there is a T5 blob out there. Uh, our players are pretty much splitting up at this point. Um, they're <laughs> Arch ended up getting a little angry. They sent about 40 players out there, 50 players out there. Uh, and, you know, like that, our team kind of just started falling apart we did get a good amount of pvp fame uh, i know a lot of you guys are looking to get that pvp fame going to arch Afghanistan with a group of 10 or 12 players will get you that as arch has a bunch of bad players just like any other alliance there's bad players and good players so you'll be able to pick off the bad players real quick and then the good players might show up with about 20 or 30 or 40 and you'll you'll regret your decisions just like that but at the same time it's a lot of fun you get a lot of good pvp fame and occasionally you get some good good loot um, even if, if you get the good loot, you usually don't bring it back, unfortunately, unless you win the fight, and you're not going to win against, uh, you know, a 12v50 or 14v50. As we're kind of just watching my players run away right now, I do try to dismount, I believe, right here, uh, and try to see if I can get a pick on anybody coming near uh, in a one-man team. I see two players, and I'm like, yeah, th this is not probably for me. Uh, but that's going to be pretty much it for today. Um, as I try to you know, getting a good fight here at Archganistan. We're probably going to come back, and I'm I'm sure we will come back to Archganistan. Uh, as Tor Truff was a lot of fun, and there's a lot of Arch players out here willing to fight. So we're going to come out here probably after a couple war camps um, this next couple weeks, uh, and we'll see if we get any good content for you guys there. But uh, this was Graphic, and I'll see you guys next time.